Right, carrying on the walk after um, bumping into a local lady. She looked like she was Lady of the Manor, actually, who I was talking to. Um, you know, but she was very friendly as well, but there was just something, an air about her, you know, that you get with some people um, that own all the land and everything. But, um, yeah, we were just discussing walking and that. Then the, the troop of men went by, young men, you know, about six, I think they were all together, making up they were just doing a little walk, and I know they were doing the rugged route. I haven't done it in reverse, of course. <sighs> yeah, because the ferns have had their dominance. So There's just hints of brown now, aren't you, ferns? Hey, One of the girls on the walk yesterday, who was with a chap who I said was um, training to do a Dartmoor big walk, she saw deer near the panda cows. Oh, I'm surprised I hadn't spotted them, but then <clears throat> I was concentrating on the cows a lot. The panda cows. Yeah, she said she saw deer in one of the coombs. <sighs> Probably down by the stream, I expect, she thought. <sighs> yeah, I couldn't do a big hike today. No way. Yesterday I got, I got by and, well... This thing is the glycogen stores start to deplete from the big thigh muscles, you see. And um, they need replenishing now with rest and gentle walks like I do when I'm back home. Oh. This is a steady climb still, but you feel it. You feel it in your muscles, you see. So when I do my videos, you're seeing me Perky, when I first arrived somewhere, striding out, and then after five days of intensive hiking, as I'm getting older, because I never had this so much last year, I can tell in a year, but there again last year, although I did a couple of big hikes, they were nothing like what I've done this time, one of the hikes I've done, well, I did a big hike 30 years ago when I did the Mendip 22 mile to save the children. That was 30 years ago, right? So I was very young then. 37. Now I'm 67. And I, I do believe that the hike I did the other day towards Colbone and Limmouth, heading towards Limmouth on the coastal path. I think that's probably the biggest walk I've ever done in my life. I might, I might have done another one. I feel that, that that was a really big one, and and this one I did yesterday. Two very big hikes, especially in my later years. But I'm glad I've come back to, to complete because I was very tired when I came down Hurlston Coombe. By then, my legs were just about hanging together, you know. And, um, it was hard. Walking down here, it was like walking on coals. My toes felt buckled. They were really, really my, my toes, because I've got long toes. My, the toe next to my big toe, on both feet, is bigger longer than my big toe so it always gets knocked it always gets knocked and bashed about a bit oh those boys i bet they've got up there already i bet they have young in your 20s you can do anything in your 20s i mean i i did used to go for hikes on dartmoor thinking about it but I probably didn't even know how far I was going. Sometimes we used to go out and didn't even take water. This carrying of water thing is only really just starting off big time now because people are dying of dehydration and organ failure because that's what happens. 
you get organ failure. Not just your heart, your kidneys. Oh, I can see all those blokes. Is that how far they've gone? They've, got, they've gone to the point at the moment. They haven't gone up Helson... What's his name? I'm glad they've done that now. Perhaps they'll come back. Perhaps they'll come back. Yeah, they're coming back down now. What they're going to do is... Uh, they've gone to do... They wanted to do that. I mean, you can walk around the edge. Now they're going to go up that. I'm going to have a rest on this seat, which I never had a chance to yesterday. Right, this is National Trust. They might be a different group. Might be. Might be a different group. I'm just going to sit here for a minute. I've been sat on a bench, have a look in Porlock. I'll just zoom into the Church of St. Jupicus, which I went in and did a little bit of video on the very first day after I'd done the beach walk. Or no, I might have done that first, then done the beach walk. I can't remember now what order I'd done it in. Yeah, I did that first, I think. My campsite. I don't think you can see it actually. It's um, there are some big tall trees on it. I'm never quite sure where it is. Uh, it could be there. That could be it. Could be it, or that might be the caravan site. Yeah, might be able to see it at the next stop. Isn't this beautiful, everyone? I'll take some pictures in a minute, even though I've taken loads already. Just get my breath back again. I think there must have been, yeah, there is a path up there. Yeah, there they go. I don't know if it's the same group. Could be a different group, see? I'm going to get a move on now before people come. <sighs> 